Marco Orr takes game one of the South Division semi-final series with Peruta down the middle and he scores. JC will score. Iguilos. Wow, what a game. Atong Zamboanga are allowing the scorers of Bacoor to go one on one. You have to get rid of that ball and give it to someone else to score. Patience, ball rotation, let the things go with the flow. They have a rhythm now at Umbacoor. Nobody's forcing anything. They're just moving and playing great basketball. Jodel looking for his first basket and he got that one to go. Big swing today. Using his speed going baseline. So quick. JC Marcelino blocked by Dalmal! A pleasant Saturday afternoon to everyone as we bring you the action here in the Maharlika Filipinas Basketball League Playoffs. Welcome to the Batanga City Coliseum. And it's a beautiful roof right there uh, to indicate where we are right now as uh, the Bacoor City Strikers, Jamo Iguilos, and uh, the rest of the crew, Mark Yi. Uh, they all have championship experience. They know what it takes to close out teams, but they also know that it, that it is not going to be easy as they try to end Samboaga family's brand sardines reign here in the South Division. Mamaya, it's Jensan fighting for their playoff lives against the Batanga City Embassy Chill. Magandang gabi mga kaliga, si Dav Tupas kasama si Coach JV Gayoso. And uh, Coach JV, I hope you are doing well and you are okay. But, uh, kamusta ka naman? Uh, Alam mo sila, talagang nakakatuwa naman um, large lang ang t-shirt na suot ko kasi yun ang binigay, hindi extra large pero sa del, dalawang team tonight, lalaro dadaan sa butas ng karayong, kaya titising ko na lang tong hirap ko, makikita naman nyo yung aking pagkamacho ngayon lucky me, kasama kita at si Diana para dumaan sa hirap na to. I, I'm sorry but I cannot swap shirts with you tonight no but yeah. will we see some shirt swapping because we might see the end of two teams uh, tonight but uh, syempre it is not going to be easy for those teams that have a one to nothing lead kasama din natin at courtside miss Gianna Llanes Gianna alam natin that Bacoor has the edge right now pero ano naman ang nararamdaman ngayon ng Zamboanga kamusta ang pulso ng team na yon well i think i could say that coach Louis is feeling very macho just like you guys but all jokes aside, nakausap ko actually siya before the game at sabi niya, yes, malungkot siya after game one, but a huge help for him was actually having his son, Kiefer, there in the audience. Nagusap sila ng Kiefer after the game. And he said that, you know, Dad, I know that you're sad, but always remember that there is going to be another chance that they can redeem themselves today. Another thing his son told him is that what he saw in the game, nahirapan daw ang Zamboanga to get those shots in at the spots that they're used to. So that's something that they really worked on during practice. That kind of information and more for my report later. Mami salamat, Gianna. And it's a, you know, it's a different element to what we're seeing here sa MPBL. No family helping out yeah. with your, with some input. Siyempre, you take inspiration from your family. Uh, you know, you know that for a fact. Oo naman. Kaya nga ako nandito dahil sa inyo ni Gianna. Pero ito nga, uy! Wow! Ang ating... Uh, yes, yung, mahiwag, yung mahiwagang uh, playoff bracket natin. Kagabi, dinikit ni uh, Coach Governor Delta Pineda ang uh, Pampanga para Doon sa North Division Finals, ang San Juan naman, dinikit ni Michael Kalisaan ang kanilang pangalan doon sa playoff bracket natin. Silang maglalaban doon sa ating uh, North Division Finals. Ang South, hindi pa tapos. Hindi pa tapos. Kaya natin tinatapos. Oo. Oh, Titingnan natin if that will end tonight. Now, when you talk about Bacoor 
you know, there, there's been one player who has stood out all season long for them. And in game one, it was no different para dito sa Bacoor. John Normal, he's been a stud para sa kanila. Oh, very tough to defend. If you put a smaller guy to uh, match up with his quickness, he overpowers them. If you put a big guy, he outplays them by running faster. He's got an uh, immense number of talent. He contributes in many ways. There you see he's a good catcher and finisher. He, he blocks shots. He's just an awesome player. Great contributor for his team. And, and you know, talk about John Ermal as well. He, he, the confidence in very impressive. Kitang-kita mo, very comfortable when he has the ball in his hand. Kagabi sa laro, pinag-uusapan nila yung franchise player. This can be the franchise player of Baco or they can work around in ito. Season po, uh, average, 20 points. Ang pinapakita niya nung huling game, napakaganda. And this is a star-studded team at that as yes. well. No? Kaya, uh, very impressive ang pinapakita ni John Ermal. We'll talk about some Buanga naman. Their heart and soul has been their reigning MVP, JC Marcelino. And uh, JC, during the pregame, nakita ko fully focused siya. Uh, Coach JV wearing a white headband right now para pang pahiyang yata to. Pahiyang, sign of protest, Chito Loisaga lookalike. Pero napakaliit nga to be a Chito Loisaga lookalike. But still, if he finds something that can inspire him, go go do it, wear it. Because ang, yan ang trabaho talaga ng players to find a way to get yourself going. If that helps, good and fine. Good luck on his part. Well, you know, very... You know, it's it's really a matter of uh, when you talk about JC. You know, it's really a matter of you know, ano bang plano mo sa kanya? Will you make him a passer or a facilitator? Because you know, or, or, or a scorer at that. Well, he is actually the type of person who adjusts. 18 points, siya, field goal, six of 18, uh, rebounds, eight assists, four and two steals. Pero nabanggit mo nga, should he be a passer? When he did focus on passing. More of his teammates contributed and they won in a dominant fashion. Oh, oh naalala natin yan. That was game three against right. uh, the Quezon Huskers. And panoorin nga natin. Balikan natin itong game one. It was uh, a Bacoor type of ball game, kung, uh, kung baga, Coach JV. Because, you know, this was a low-scoring affair. Much to Bacoor's liking. Ito yung identity nga nila. Their defensive intensity and the way they stifle and neutralize teams. 56 points sa Buanga. Tama ka doon. Napakagandang defense ang pinakita. Both teams, hirap na hirap. Great defense there, John Normal. Pero yun nga, still napaka-exciting. Field goal percentages, 36.8. Favoring Baco or free throws. Doon, both sides had, a str had to struggle with their free throws. Turnover situation, they need to protect that ball even more. Bench points, pumapabor sa Sambuanga because a lot of their starters weren't able to contribute unlike JC. As, as always, would contribute points for his team. Well, you know, Judel Fuentes of Zamboanga was actually one of those players na hindi nga naka uh, make an impact dito sa kanyang uh, team. He only had two points uh, para sa kanyang uh, kopunan. Now, when you talk about the player matchup para sa, para sa gawin to, ikaw, nagustuhan mo tong matchup na to, especially dun sa end game ng uh, game one because this seemed like a way for uh, Zamboanga to counter itong strength ng Bacoor. Tama ka dun. And I'm old school, Sedef. I, I like the big men. And when big men know how to score, I favor them. I favor that type of a play. Gabayni and Igilos match up really well. Um, 10 points for Gabayni in the previous. Igilos, anim lang. But their presence in the middle, lacking bagay. Rebounding factor, Jamo Igilos dominating Joseph Gabayni. But Gabayni played less minutes kay Jamo Igilos. Well, Jamo Igilos already owns a, an MPBL championship. Gabayni still looking for his no, kasama nila si Gianna Llanes. Yes, the Delphin JV. Kailangan talaga nakaupo ako for this interview dahil kasama ko ang dalawang centers na maglalaro for Game 1. We have Jamo Aguilos of Bacoor and Joseph Cabayni of Zamboanga. Jamo, I will start with you. Alam ko inatasan kayo ni Coach Alex na mag-scout rin for the series. Hindi lang siya bilang coach. Dahil ikaw nga ang center at nakikita mo ang lahat. Ano yung na-scout mo from Game 1? Uh, nung Game 1, yung hand-off namin talaga pinuforce nila na agawin yung bola na magkaroon kami ng turnover. Okay, Joseph, ikaw naman, kunentohan mo ako dati na mahalaga ang meditation para sa'yo, para kalmado ka before the game. This being a do or die game para sa team nyo, ano naman yung naging mensahe mo sa teammates mo para kalmado rin sila going into this game? Uh, actually, hindi ko na rin kinailangan mag-message sa kanila. Uh, yun, si Coach Louie, lagi naman kaming na-remind ko anong gagawin namin. And then, before this game, merong short clips na binigay yung mga uh, mahal namin sa buhay para motivation na rin para sa amin lahat para sa team namin yun 
Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts. Joseph and Jamo, good luck to both of your teams. Turning it over now to our Coliseum Barker, Richard Tampos, for the start of the game. And welcome to Game 2 of the Best of 3 South Division Semi-Finals. With Bahor Strikers take 1-0 lead over Zamboanga. This is the Nexus Gaming 88, Manny Pacquiao's MBBL Season 5, presented by Xtreme here at the Batanga City Coliseum. Here are the starters. First, the Bagoor City Strikers, Philbert.com. Our forward number three, the Iron Claw, Mike Cañete. Point guard number nine, Aaron Heruta. The other guard number 15, the quick James Fox, James Quakote. Small forward number 29, the elastic man, John Nermal. Center number 52, Mark Yee. Their head coach is Alex Angeles. His assistants are R.B. Mangahas, Chris Cabina, Jix Guadamore, Marlo Corpin, the skyscraper Marlo Aguino, Roy Cuevas, and Big Mac Antaya. Assistant team manager Lawrence San Jose. Coaching consultants are Cap B.J. Aganus, Willie Generalau, and Chris Conway. Team manager and co-team owner Dennis Sabella. The team owners are Mr. J. Cabal Revilla and Bahor City Honorable Mayor Strike Revilla. Now starting for Sambuanga, family's friend, Sardines. Power forward number 99, John Mahari. Small forward number 27, King Caralipio. Playing center number 7, Jason Grimaldo. And from the guard line, the twin turbo, JB Marcelino and the reigning MVP, JC Marcelino. Their head coach is Louis Alas. His assistants are Arnold Contorno, Gilbert Castillo, Cesar Polhen, and Francis Allen. Team representative Anthony Roque. Basketball operations head Didi Arquiza. Team governor Ram Ayraham. Team manager Alvin Munio. Team owners are T. P. Gao and Miss Anita Kao. Here we go, Bacoor and Zamboanga. The strikers have uh, Aaron Hiruta, James Crecate, Marky, Mike Caniete, and John Nermal. Zamboanga has the, the Marcelino twins, JC and JV, Jason Grimaldo, the man in the middle, King Caralipio, and uh, John Mahari completing that starting five. Our referees uh, for today's matchup, Jojo Belnas, Alan Manzano, and Jason Vipinoso, Luis Saripe is the fourth man. Ball is up. And we are underway in Batangas. Game two of your South Division semifinals. Makoor with a one to nothing lead against Zamboanga. So Del Pompisa palang bigyan natin ng pansin lahat ng fans na dumating supporting Bacoor na dun sila sa taas. Isang banda ata sila at tropa from Bacoor. Good evening sa inyo. Maganda kami po sa lahat. Good afternoon pa sa and uh, Coach JD Gayoso and uh, of course Gian Alianes bringing in the action. Caralipio lost the handle. There's Marcelino for three. JV Marcelino. Good sign for Zamboanga. JV getting on the score sheet early on. Great sign. Na hindi si JC ang nag score. We mentioned it at the top of the, sh the, uh, the game. No, binanggit natin. If others score rather than JC, that's a big factor para sa Zamboanga team. Easy pass by Caniete to Mark E. A nice look there from uh, Mike Cañete, finding Marky, is a front court partner. Three to two, both teams uh, on the scoreboard early on. Grimaldo. Here's King Caralipio. Caralipio for three. That trickles in. King Caralipio. Gutom yung bola, kumagat-agat sa ring, kaya bumalik. Great spin on the ball for Caralipio, and it's nice because he really needs to contribute. Okay, Caralipio. 
a very important player for uh, Zamboanga. He had uh, actually had 10 points in game one. Was the second leading scorer behind uh, JC Marcelino, Dalawa sila ni Joseph Gabayni. You know, I like the lineup right now of Zamboanga with Mahari inside guarding James Cuecote. Both physical, but Mahari needs to watch his fouls or else he'll end up sitting on the bench early. Well, that's what happened with him as well. Here's JC Marcelino. Goes to Mahari. Inabatayan ni Cuecote. Mahari down the middle. Misses and Marky secures the board. Intimidated by the presence of Marky. Go strong. Kung pwede mong sagasaan, sagasaan mo. Apologize later, but that's the name of the game. Wag mo iwasan or you lose the shot. Opportunity. To the corner. Nermal for three. That's good. Confidence at an all time high for John Nermal. And sort of reminds you of uh, Mike Ayunayon on how he transform into an unheralded prospect into an established player he, he came out of nowhere and became a second round draftee in the PBA draft oh, recently tama ka dun. alam mo he just suddenly blossomed into something that people did not expect napakaganda ng kanyang nilalaro hindi lang iilang game iilang buwan na siya performing well 5 to 6 on score that's a miss for uh, Ma our, uh, Mike Caniente. Three minutes gone by in the first quarter. Here's Caralipio. Defended by Cuecate. The kick out to Mahari. All day to shoot. No good. And Heruta just yanked that ball away from Caralipio. Nice pass ahead to Caniete for two. You can tell right now, Paco Or is just, you know, controlling the tempo of this game. Every opportunity they can, they will run and just move that ball around. Later on, I'll mention that in the keys to, my, to their game. Another miss from uh, Zamboanga. They've been uh, trigger happy early on. Uh, two for five from beyond the arc. Quetcate for three. No. And Caralipio with the rebound. J.D. Marcelino has the basketball, goes to Grimaldo, now with Mahari, seven seconds on the shot clock, Caralipio swings it over to J.B., the attack is good. Five points for J.B. Marcelino. Great to see him scoring this early. Atong si JV Marcelino making up for his performance in the last game. But very tough task for JV to guard Heruta. Another unpredictable scorer for Bacoor. Heruta. Five seconds to work with for Bacoor. Aaron trying to drop it off to Marquis. Saved by Cañete. And he ran out of time. That's a shot clock violation on the strikers. Seven to six is our score. And watch this uh, move of the game brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming. JV Marcelino turning the corner and uh, flipping that one up and in for his fifth point of the ball game. Sambuanga ahead, eight to seven with 521 remaining in the first period. Good news for Bacoor, all of their players who had the flu last game are feeling 100% now. Kahit sobrang saya nga daw ng strikers, huli nilang panalo, pinaalala sa kanila ni Coach Alex na hindi pa tapos ang laban, lalo na South Division Champions ang kalaban nila. But to keep their spirits high, Coach Alex did have a Bible verse on his whiteboard for the team today. Psalm 31.15 that read, My life, my every moment, my destiny, it's all in your hands. Reminding the players to have fun and just focus on what's in their control. Sidelf and JV?
Thank you, G. Thank you, G. And uh, can you chime in on that? No, uh, naman, siyempre, Bible verse na yun, napakaganda. Because once you point something out that is deep, it changes the mentality of his team and they play together. Napakaganda ginagawa ni Coach Alex. Thank you for that report, G. Mahari, the drop pass to JB Marcelino. He was on his game early on. Seven points. Seven of the ten for uh, Zamboanga. Mermal in trouble. And they were able to cross half court. Here's Cañete. He'll take the three and knock it down. Just when you think you're doing great on offense, moving around, giving Bacoor a troubled uh, uh, offense, Biglang Cañete finds himself free and hits it. They're tied at 10. Marcelino. That's JV. Here's Mahari. Grimaldo. Caralipio. That's a foul on James Pecate. Just the first team foul for Baco Or at the 427 mark of the first period. Here's the three from uh, Michael Caniete after the press break from uh, the strikers. Nice play underneath. Oh, Pumapos. Ang tira ni JV Marcelino. Oh, one of, one of the, his first miss. Nermal on attack mode. As always, he draws the foul on Caralipio. And there you see the difference. Uh, John Nermal, when he attacks, he doesn't you know, shy away from contact. And that's why he got a call earlier. Nag penetrate on players, uh, John Mahari penetrated Bakoor, but he actually opted to not go through Mark Yi. Four points for John Nirmal. And John Nirmal, 21 points in the last game. 11 to 10 is our score. 12 to 10, rather. 4 16 remains. Post up play. Gabaini underneath. Almost lost it. Here's Mahari. Attacks. Voila. Rebound. James Gregate. I like the look they went through Gab Gabaini. Probably didn't work out that first attempt, but it's nice to see that they're going at it. Eruta. That's a great challenge there to force the miss. Here's Mahari. Takes it to the chest of Marquis and scores. Iyan ang sagasa. Iyan ang binabanggit natin. John Mahari should always do that. Not lang kay Marquis. Any person standing your way, bring him down. Go strong to the basket. Here's Krakate. Ten to shoot. He'll take on Gabaini. Krakate went for the difficult shot. And that bounces off the foot of Cañete. Turn over for Bacoor. Here's Caralipio. Binigay Gabaini. Stop it, Bob. And he knocks it down. Simple jumper by Gabaini. Just stepped into it. And this guy has a soft touch for a big man. It's not a one-hander that most of the big men do. He's just controlled perimeter. Oh! But si Cañete. And there's a whistle. Going against Gabaini. Gabaini, I believe. No, Caralipio. Let's watch this assist of the game. Brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming. The stop and pop, Kalikaya, Joseph Gabaini. Right at the free throw line. King Caralipio scoring on that double team. No challenge there from Caniete. And uh, an easy two, Panakaya, Joseph Gabaini. Oh, I didn't expect na papasok ang tira niya. Well, uh, Adi Santos comes in, comes into the ball game. Added quickness and pressure con on Mark E. Oh, so it's on Gabaini. Yep. He gave the shoulder. Yeah, Cañete went down. Oh! Becate underneath, and he scores once again. First basket for James Becate. Wow, Becate's man caught napping. Marcelino 
too strong on the three. Rebound, get <laughs> JV wins the battle again. And that's a blocking foul on uh, Joel Lee Yu. Everything right now that Gobaini is doing is the right thing for a big man. He's so spaced to take off for his shot. He attacks, but gets a foul on the guy blocking Lee Yu. But Lee Yu, alam natin, isa pa tong makulit na player at uh, kukulit tin talaga itong si JC Marcelino uh, or JV. And uh, Heruta will take a breather. Pinasak na si Ivan Ludovice who missed game one due to an illness. Jadel Fuentes, on the other hand, will, is coming off the bench for this ball game. And Jadel had uh, trouble shooting the basketball last time. Only two points, one of seven shooting para kay Jadel Fuentes in game one. You're so nice for saying that. No, he had a difficult time. Um, maganda, tama yun. It's, it's, he did have, well, yeah. yeah. But how about Joseph Gabaini getting more involved on the offense here, Coach David? But, but Gabaini is a tough person to stop. You need somebody much taller because he's so wide. He carves out space for himself and knows how to finish. 5 of 11 right now, field goals para sa Bacor, 7 of 15 naman para sa Sambuanga. Now, Sambuanga with four more shots against Bacoor early on here. Tawarin natin ang galaw dito ni uh, Marcelino. Able to find Gabayni when he's at that area. Eh, parang gusto either foul na lang yan or two points. Totoo. And that's why napakahirap. Iiwas ka talaga. Napakaaga pa ng game natin to get several fouls on you and put yourself on the bench sitting and watching this game. Ludovice from oh. way out. And we have a foul. Marquis and Caralipio getting entangled. And uh, we needed the help of uh, our uh, officiating crew para ma Antangle sila. Oo nga, nakikita natin sa ilalim. Pero dito sa sitwasyon na to, si Del, ang foul ay si Marky. Yeah. Ang natawagan. And really, kung ganyan ang kailangan na effort to keep him out of the uh, out of the offensive glass. Tama ka dun. Sa panahon namin, pag merong, ano, merong rebounder, hindi mo tatalikuran. Face up ka. Parang boxingero, mag-face up kayo to box out. You don't back, put your back against a prolific rebounder like Marquis. JC Marcelino steps into the three. No. Jamo Iguilo secures the rebound. So Chito Jaime is also in the ball game. Some battle-tested veterans on this uh, Pahor City team. Alam mo, earlier, maganda ang shooting ni JV Marcelino, pero nasa SOP procedures ng uh, Zamboanga na pinapalitan si JV by ano at uh, pinapa upo at pinapasok si Judel Fuentes. Oh, what a sequence here. Bacoor bailed out by the jumper from uh, Joel Lee Yu, but the defense was right there. Coach JV for 23 seconds. Everything uh, they're doing right at on Sambuanga, but they fall short in that last second, just enough to get a shot off. Ito magita natin, constant movement, a sequence of events, sabi mo nga, and Liu just confidently taking that shot on challenge. Mahirap naman yung ginawa ng Sambuanga doon, and you leave Liu open at the final moment. That was always going to be hard. Marcelino. Loses the pick from Gabay Gabayni. Ignacio puts the ball on the deck. No. Rebound. Napunta kay Ivan Ludovice. Chance to take the lead for Bacoor. Eight second differential. Game clock and shot clock. Well, Ignacio should um, do the same thing. Just continue to attack. It's going to fall in eventually. A foul right here. Parehong teams nasa penalty na. So that will mean free throws. So here we see JV Marcelino. Yun nga binabanggit ko. May ano usually eh, talaga si JC ang pinapalitan ni uh, si JV pinapalitan ni Judel ni Judel Fuentes but this time maganda ang pinapakita ni JV. He's been hitting outside and scoring in perimeter. Chito Jaime makes his first from the line. 17 to 16 is our count. Oh, 
short on the second. 17 seconds to work with for Zamboanga. They're down by one in the first quarter. Parang replay lang ito ng ating first game. Dikit din sila all throughout. Adi Santos, they go down low to Gabayni. That ball tapped away by Miguelos. And that will do it for the first period. Bacor City Strikers. Victory away from a first ever South Division Finals appearance. And it's not going to be easy as JV Marcelino and Zamboanga have shown that they can handle the pressure. Nermal also heating up early on. Jan Mahari showing that he can rise to the challenge. At the end of one, it's Bako Or 17, Zamboanga 16. Two days of rest ang binigay ni Coach Luis sa players niya after Game 1 because he said he feels like it was just a long night for all of them. He said that they had way too many fouls and a lot of missed free throws as well. So ang palala niya sa players niya for this game is to be aggressive but to play better than their emotions. Actually, Zamboanga has a team hashtag that they're using especially for this game because it is a do or die game for them. And that is to hashtag win as one family. For him, he said that means being on the same page, having that same destiny and focusing on that same goal which to ex is to extend this series. Back to you, Sadalf and JV. Marami salamat, Gianna. And uh, you can always expect uh, Coach Louie to find uh, the right words and uh, to come up with a game plan to keep this team in the thick of the fight and eventually overcome the challenges. Ignacio misses. Gabaini on the second serving. And a miss again for Zamboanga to start the second quarter. Great effort there. Uh, but I want to go back what, to, to what G was pointing out. No? The two-day rest, laking bagay yun, hindi mo napipigay ng players. But Chito Jaime still continuing his performance, striking that shot from the outside. Laking bagay, may pahinga talaga. It's a four-point lead here for Bacoor. 20 to 16. Let's go to your keys to the game. Coach JV, unahin natin yung Bacor. Well, ito makikita natin, remain unpredictable. In their previous game, you had seven, 17 assists playing unselfish basketball. Everybody got to touch that ball and everybody became a threat. So continue that, remain unpredictable. Protect your turf. Lessen the second chance opportunities for Zamboanga. Zamboanga had 11 points on second chance opportunities and 16 offensive rebounds. So they should need to protect their turf. Knockout tingin. Ayan, pag may maganda dito sumasayaw, parang ang partner ko nandun, knockout tingin agad. So tulad nila, knockout din. Pero ang knockout kasi, sa basketball lang pinupuri ang magna-knockout. 13 steals for them, heartbreaker ito. So if they continue to steal the ball, it can be a heartbreaker for them in a positive for their win against Sambuanga. Ah, yung pala yun. Nakaw tingin. Ah, <laughs> Nakaw. Iba yung, uh, ano eh. Ik oh. <laughs> Iba yung meaning mo na nakaw tingin. Let, let, let's go to nakaw. Zambuanga. Meaning tingin sa nakaw. Okay, papunta na sa Zambuanga naman. Be attitudes. Itong pinag-uusapan. Be attitudes. Iniiba ko lang. It's B-E. Be attitudes. Pero yun ang pinag-uusapan sa church ng isang araw. Anyway, be tough. Be professional, be determined, be unselfish, be wise, be attitude. Yan ang mga kailangan nilang attitude ngayon, itong family Sambuanga team. Our second point, yeast. 
yeast. Ito ay pang paalsa. Pag hina may hinalo ka sa yeast, it actually takes over and becomes something new. Nagkakaroon ng full body. JC Marcelino is that type of a player that can rise everybody up. Pero hindi tayo umaasa kay JC Marcelino. Instead, work with him to become a better productive team. Lastly, when is enough enough para dito sa Sambuanga? Never. You have to give it your best till the game is done with you up and more points than Baco or. When is enough enough? Never. I like that. I like number three. It's never enough. Never enough. Ayan. And uh, syempre, it's a, uh, you know, the, these, uh, you know, these keys to the game, you know, I, I'm pretty sure may kita natin yan. It will all pan out. Namaya, pag in-update natin. Tama ka dun si Jeff, kasi these two teams, very unpredictable. Whoa! There's been a lot of shots from point blank range that have uh, not gone in for some Buaga in the first half. And that's so true, Sir Delta, no? At nakaka-ano talaga yun, nakaka-frustrate. But Adi Santos just playing unselfish ball and tough defense. And he does what, he, you know, he, he gives, he helps everybody out. And that's a plus factor, but frustrating. Sometimes kasi, Sir Delta, pag pumasa ka sa teammate mo at hindi na shoot at point blank, parang iniisip mo, sana tinira ko na lang. Hindi but, naman yan. Usually, ganun. Pero in kagandaan ng ugali ni Adi Santos, we just play on because the show must go on. You know what? It, sometimes it's okay to be, it's better to be kind than to be right. Tama ka dun. Tama ka dun. Tama ka dun. Parang yung to kanina, yung may liting ha. Oo. Napaka, tama ka dun. Eight seconds in the shot clock here for uh, Bacoor, Ludovice. Nahanap si Igilos. Under eight minutes remaining here in the second period. Li Yu drives too strong. Rebound Chito Jaime. Misses. Adi Santos gets the rebound quickly to Fuentes. Jodel. Oh, what a shovel pass. Jodel Fuentes to Adi Santos. But Jodel Fuentes is hurt. He's asking to be subbed. Adi Santos just using his quickness, outrunning Jaimo Aguilas for that fast break layup. Ludovice. Nermal, he draws the foul on Ignacio. He's a marked man, John Nermal. Oh, uh, alam mo si Ignacio is playing great basketball, uh, doing his best against John Nermal. But here we see this fast break. It's a no-look shovel pass. And this assist of the game is brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming. Adi Santos with the finish. But that pass actually led to an injury, so let's check that thing out. Hopefully, nothing really bad to keep Judel Puentes out. A quick shout out to Mike Ayanayon, who's watching right now, the former MPBL champion and uh, finals MVP. JC Marcelino will fly, and that is short. Dumapi, very forceful. And he loses the basketball. Well, Dumapik should understand, if you get that ball deep under, you should bring that ball out. He's got other teammates ready to probably score in a better position. JC Marcelino. The kick out to JB. Attack is in the middle. He's going Veloria. What a tap. Binigay kay Quecate. Mahari giving chase. That's short for Quecate. On the second try, James Quecate puts it in. I love the chase by Mahari, but he went way out and couldn't recover to get a rebound. Marcelino to Dumapik. Binigay kay Mahari. Play broken up by Veloria. Veloria has been terrific on the defensive end, but Iguilos misfires on the pass. A little bit too much, but good intention by Jay Moigilos. Hindi lang talaga sa point guard. I'm pretty sure he would want that ball back. Babawi yan. Babawi yan. Shout out lang. Uh, Annalisa Payawal, get well soon, watching our game. No. Uh, lots of love, lots of love. Recovering from surgery. Uh, get well soon. Yeah, prayers up. That's uh, our, our friends from Sky Encore as well, Ian and uh, Miss Amber. 
Marami salamat sa support niya sa MPBL. Here's JC Marcelino. Inside JV with the escape. And that will not count. And that's a and that's a tough front line to score against Igilos and Kanyete. Oh no, but even if they miss, I would prefer that type of a shot missing in the paint rather than taking outside shots without even trying to come in. Kanyete faces up and misses on the jumper. Ooh. And how many possessions has Craniel Viloria given Bahor dito sa ating second quarter? That's the third one. Couple of steals and now turn the ball over. Oh, natapik niya against Mahari. Active hands talaga. Nakakatulong. 23 to 22. Timeout. The Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguard, who, uh, whose uh, title retention bid ended last night at the hands of the San Juan Knights. Uh, this is a statement from their team owner, Mr. Bong Cuevas. Um, Shepre nag uh, pasalamat sila, and uh, Shepre nag apologize. But I, 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 I you know, they, they've represented Nueva Ecija with pride and dignity and a very classy organization. Eto Nueva Ecija. It's just, uh, it's just that yung pagripit dito sa si It's just so difficult right now wala pa nakakaulit mag champion dito but uh, i think you know Nueva Ecija deserves a lot of praise for what they've done in the last two seasons they've been a, a standard of excellence dito sa ating liga it's a classy act talaga yun that you send a message out to the fans of Nueva Ecija um, could have gone a lot better sana but of course ganun talaga ang buhay dito sa MPBL another you just move on and Look for the next season. Yeah, I, I, I think they're going to bounce back stronger. Yes, yes. Next season with uh, with what transpired ito season ato. Three seconds in the shot clock. Hey, Ruta, too strong on the three. Takbo ulit ang Zamboanga. Here's Caralipio. Oh! But, but, uh, they didn't have the numbers there, Zamboanga. Yeah, active hands again from Craniel Veloria, breaking up that fast break. Gloria has been a great contributor. He doesn't score, and he, but he's does, he, he, he gets the ball back for his team. Napakaganda ng kanyang pinapakita. He should be watched by so many other viewers, kids who don't actually score, but can contribute. Marcelino missing on that one. And Krekate is slow to uh, get back to their side of the court. Now he's okay. Eruta. And JC Marcelino with a deflection. Caralipio down the middle. There's a foul. I like the run that they're making it on Sambuanga when they get that ball, but Caralipio is holding that ball too much. First dribble should have given that ball out, then let that ball come back to him. You know, the longer you keep that ball, you, you kill the opportunities to score and allow the defense to come back and set up. JC still looking for his rhythm here. Neruta. That's two players ganging up on him. Jump ball. JC Marcelino was the person who caused that uh, because he ran behind Heruta on the right side, forcing Heruta to put the ball on the left where Mahari was. The credit to Aaron Neruta. Tignan mo yung presence of mind niya. Hinawakan niya yung Tawa. bola kasi eh, he forces a help ball. That would have been an easy turnover right there. Alam mo, hang-hanga ako sa performance niya. Here you see, forcing to bring it to the right. Holds on to the ball. As you said, forcing the jump ball. They get that ball back as arrow points to their court. And Kwekote against Caralipio. Kwekote, the fadeaway. That's a tough shot. It's an air ball. And the ball goes back. 
to uh, Zamboanga. Mabalik lang, mabalik ko lang no. Aaron Heruta played a great game, diba? I think we we ano made a shout out din uh, yung kanyang performance ng huling game because he had to do a yeoman's job with Ludovice out of the ball game. Davey Marcelino, babase na kay Grimaldo. They swing it over to JC. To JV, corner three. No. And uh, both teams have struggled here in the second quarter. 23 to 22. Medyo hirap nga ngayon tumira sa labas. Both teams, ano, because the tight, it tightened up inside. Very tough to enter and penetrate to get a high percentage shot. Mark Yee. For three, no. Nope. Rebound, napunta sa Sambuanga. JV Marcelino attacks. That's a tough shot again. In defense ng pareho teams, go JV. Matibay talaga. Yes, they're, uh, they're just blocking the path to the basket. That's why you, all the players are changing shots. Hey, Ruta finding Cañete. And that breaks the drought for Bacoor. And that's where we see the easiest way to score. You have to create for your teammate and be ready to dish off. Somebody moving without the ball puts himself as a target to receive a pass and score. Cañete moving. Great shot for him and great pass by his teammate Haruta. That's almost three minutes uh, without a basket for Bacoor. But it's even longer for Zamboanga because it looks like it is going to be a shot clock violation. Indeed. Just when you think you get the point in a, the toughest way possible, it can be taken away. Here we are reviewing it to the... And J.B. Marcelino right here. The ball was still in his hands. And that's now Coach J.B. Five minutes without a basket. They've been stuck at 23 on Zamboanga. Last basket was seven, at the 741 mark ng ating second quarter. They've been scoreless, the Zamboanga family's brand sardine. Nagkaroon nga ng drought, but ting naman naman, Bacoor only up by one. Yeah, it's their defense as well that's keeping them in the game. This move of the game is brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming, the drive and the dish from Aaron Heruta. Able to spot ito si Michael Cañete, who now has seven points in the ball game. We have a timeout, 2.39 remaining in the first half. Premium experience, exceptional stay. Boracay de la Ia is the official hotel and resort of the NPBL. Shout out to Boss Robert Kai and uh, Ma'am Laila Kai, who I haven't seen in a while. Sana magka oras na at uh, mabisita ko kayo. Ah, so, teka lang. So, yung pagpunta mo dun? No, no it's not even in Boracay de la Ia. Why not? Sama ako. Oh, uh, sama kita. Yeah. yeah, si Gianna, sama din natin. Lahat na. Yan. We will come and visit and we will grace. Malapit lang yan dito, ah. Yes, of course. Actually, malapit lang yan dito. Three, four hours. No, no, from here, it's probably an hour and a half. Probably an hour and a half. San Juan. Yeah. Dadaan ng iba, uh, dadaan ng rosario. Ganda yun, ganda dun, ganda dun. Yeah. I've been there. A steal here by Judel. Able to save that basketball, but to run out of space. 2.28 left. 13 seconds of shot clock na na Zamboanga. So, Del, gusto ko lang banggitin, it would be nice to see Judel Fuentes score bago matapos itong quarter na to because he's, on, he's been on a drought as well and needs to just, you know, uh, give himself a boost. Inside, Marky. Oh! Bad rebounding by Grimaldo. And John Hermal sneaks in. Seventh point of the ball game. 26-23. Off the side of the board, Cañete 
Bumuelo, balik kay Cuecate, and Baco Or is on a roll. And these are the things that Sambuanga need to stop. One-on-one -on -one play will never work out. And then when you fall asleep on defense and allow active players to get offensive rebounds, it's going to be tough to win. Coach Lou is just so upset telling his players you have to play rugged basketball both ends of the floor. That's our exceptional pass of the game brought to you by Boracay Dilea, the official hotel and resort of the MPBL. Great connection there, Krekete. The recipient of the pass from Kanyete. Timeout, Zabuanga. Bakoor up by five. James Krekate, 11 points in that win in game one against Zamboanga. Nine points in the second half in the three of 11 shooting uh, to go with eight rebounds and two steals. And really just someone who, who's really not afraid to get that basketball and, and, and take charge. Uh, okay, you know, who's not afraid to make a mistake, not afraid to miss a shot. And that's... James Krekate for you, a fearless player. And he becomes exceptionally well because he's unselfish. And when he sees a, a teammate open, like the fast break they had earlier, he's willing to give that ball up. And Tosi Tangsinko finally breaking the drought. That's six minutes without a basket Wow, for Zamboanga. And Bakaor is only up by three. Well, right now, Sedov, ooh. A lot of pushing, extra motions there between Grimaldo and Mark E. So just the fourth team foul of uh, Zamboanga right here. And Jadel Fuentes finds Nosi Tancinco nakakapasok lang in the ball game. And that's a perfect example. It takes two to score. You can't try to score one-on-one -on -one or else the defense will just swallow you up. Nermal. Oh, that's a foul on Tancinco. Landing spot. And we, the, we saw referee Alan Manzano gesture a couple of technicals here. And I think what here as John Ermal went up for that three pointer. And he was not given space to land there by uh, Tosi Tancinco. And I think the body of Tansinko really just bumped into John Nermal. Looked like it because he didn't step no man's up. It's just a binanga in midair. What happened after? Uh, Judel Fuentes and James Gekote right there. Pinapikam bola, may natamaan, binalik lang, returning the favor. You know, we, we've seen how this first half has panned out. What's Sambuanga, you know, ano, anong kailangan nila dito para mabago itong complexion ng laro natin? I, I like what you asked, okay? So, replicate the last score. The gel creates, somebody shoots. But if you go one-on-one, -on -one, inaabangan na ng defense ng Bacoor. So, you have to create and make a pass. When they all plug down and cover the path to the basket, somebody is left open. Make that extra pass. Do not try to be heroic and win this by putting points behind your name. Well, JC Marcelino still scoreless in this ball game, And John Ermal already with nine points. He is uh, the leading scorer of this ball game. Wouldn't hurt if JC Marcelino stopped looking to, for his shot and just create and make extra passes. Well, Nermal got his own miss. And Baco Or with another possession here. Caniete will drive. Yes! And he draws the foul as well. He fakes a pass, opens 
the defense, finds a path to the basket, and finishes with one extra. Gumalaw lahat, iniwan siya. You do not rotate to a man without the ball. Stick with the person who has the ball. And uh, Michael Caniete has the experience for you of uh, Michael Caniete. What we're seeing as well here from Bakuor is a much tightened rotation from Coach Alex Angeles. We we're used to seeing a lot of players getting inserted at some point in the ball in the early in the ball game. Eh, ngayon talagang he's sticking to this really really strong five right now. Uh, nga, because nga, they don't only score on offense, but they're great on defense. Here's Caralipio underneath, and he draws the foul. Looks like it will go against Caniete. Two free throws para kay King Caralipio. And check out si Del, pag ma ma oh, siguro kung ma-replay yun. Triangle ang defense at dun sa loob ng painted area, forcing the offensive player of Sambuanga to go under the basket. Very tough to score when you're behind the board. This is the biggest lead right now of Bacoor in this ballgame. 33 to 25, Caralipio. Lintis sa unang free throw. Coach Louis Alas. Let's see if that uh, striped shirt uh, will bring him uh, and his team some luck here. Alam mo si Def, we've seen it in other series as well. Huwag uh, sana sila humanap ng three-point shot. Two points lang ng two points. Kayo rin na lang nila yung lead na ito. Dahan-dahan nila. Grind it out. Two points and make several stops against Bacoor. We have a timeout. And uh, we, when we return, Bacoor has 43.7 seconds in the first half. Thirty-three to twenty-six. Makoor City Strikers having a, a really good second quarter. They've outscored their opponent sixteen to ten in uh, the second period. There's an offensive foul. It goes against Marky. Referees motioning that you know Marky really extended his lower back. There you go. And, uh, I wouldn't. Well, I don't know if that was enough to make a call, but yeah, Marky did. Same here. Yeah, Marky did move, and maybe the from the angle of the referee, it was enough to merit a call. Fuentes on the double team. Tancinco, JC Marcelino for three. Still no go. The reigning MVP still scoreless here. And he can't get those points from shooting the three if it's not working for you. You have to bring that ball closer. You know, you're wasting opportunities on offense by taking three-point shots. And your percentages go down. And look at Bakoor. They're just try trying to come close to the basket. But Jan Normal. Oh! And the foul on Marquis away from the basketball. But John Normal knocked down. That three ball again. Pangalawang tres na yan ni John Ermal. He's got 12 points in the first half. Let's watch this again. Ermal already able to voice that shot. And uh, Tancinco just trying to prevent Marquis to go for that offensive rebound. And binangga siya ni Marquis. Pero yung tira nga ni John Ermal, that's co it's caused by a lot of ball rotation. And that ball really goes everywhere before it finds its mark. To an open shooter, not again the Tignan. 
Well, they're mild. Two of three from beyond the arc in this ball game so far. Upon review, a foul committed by Mark Yee. Penalty. That's, third foul that's a Mark third Yee. foul, though, on Mark Yee. And he's claiming that it's a flop, but referees think otherwise. So, but Makoor up by 10 here in the second quarter. But on Cinco, it's a chance for him to go back. 6.7 seconds sa oras natin. First one is good para kay uh, Tosi Tansinko. 6.7 seconds remaining. Mama Lisa Alas, the wife of Coach Dewey. Two for two for Tosi. Four points off the bench. 6.7 seconds remaining. Decoy Lopez is in. Heruta looking for a teammate. Gets it back from Cañete. Heruta will attack. Play broken up. Marcelino. 0 for 8 in the first half. JC Marcelino. And Bacoor City Strikers are now up by 8 points to close out the half. It's been John Nermal who's been doing most of the damage here for the Bacoor City Strikers, much like in Game 1 where he had 20 points. Nermal picking up from where he left off 12 points in that first half. Two of three from beyond the arc. And he's been instrumental for Bakoor in taking this eight-point lead at the break. And uh, meanwhile, panoorin nyo ang aming MPBL recap from the games last night in Palayan City, Nueva Ecija. Again, MPBL fans, and welcome to MPBL Recap with me, Mix Gomez, and Javi Palanya as we talk about the games here in Palayan City. So let's begin with Kalaokan Batang Kankalu now being eliminated by the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Your thoughts about Pampanga in game two, especially with the performances of Balti Baltazar and Enzo Serrano? Well, Kalaokan actually started off this game carrying a two point lead heading into the second quarter. This was a greater start compared to what they had in game one. Unfortunately, Pampanga was able to weather the storm and once again come up with a turnaround to be able to come up with a victory. Enzo Serrano took the cudgels from Balti Baltazar, who also turned in a decent performance in this game but Serrano was the one who really put on the finishing touches para sa kanila to take game two and sweep the series. So Pampanga has advanced to the North Division Finals and then in game number two for today, San Juan successfully eliminated our defending champions, the Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. Uh, this was an upset of great proportions makes everybody was expecting that this was going to be extended into a game three but the Knights had other plans in mind. They wanted to take care of the Rice Vanguards right here, right now and that's exactly what they did. A lot of contributions from different players. Adrian Nocum was ready whenever his number was called. Orlan Mamar delivered in the fourth quarter. Marwin Taiwan as well. Nico Panganiban also had a great performance. But we have to highlight the standard of excellence for the Knights tonight. It was Michael Calisan. 30 points and 18 rebounds. His best performance of the season yet. And that's where they depleted the front line for the San Juan Knights against the very tall order in terms of big men for the Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguard. So congratulations to San Juan and Pampanga. They will be facing each other in the North Division Finals. Thank you for joining us in our MPBL Recap.
Sa'y ng bawat isa Sigawan ay umayanig Kapag nag 3 points na Bawat bay ay di ba tatalo Buong barangay ay suportado Kahit ano ang mangyari Sama-sama tayo Basketball League. Labay nagkakaisa Luson, Visayas, Mindanao Basketball na Ang bawat labay di naghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang bakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat Sa kanya-kanyang kubunan Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na ang mga bisyo Sports ang lagi
may labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, basketball na Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang babakan Todo suporta ang lahat sa kanya-kanyang kubunan Labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, basketball na Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang babakan Todo suporta ang lahat sa kanya-kanyang kubunan test of character for both teams uh, is uh, now at the halfway point of game two 36 of the 28 lamang ang Bacoor City Strikers using the big second quarter para ma-extend ng kanilang kalamangan from the first and uh, Jason Mar JV Marcelino had a great start to this ball game but unti-unti 
ang Baco or asserting their dominance. Especially this guy right here, John Ermal, who uh, had a solid, solid first half for his team. And it took a while. Actually, you know, Sambuanga had a seven-minute scoreless drought in that second quarter. Kaya nga, itong um, Baco or ay umalagwa ng konti by eight at, at the break. Well, that was, the, that was the situation where we saw now they started shooting from the outside. Ito, pakita lang muna natin free throw situation. Both 75%, laking bagay ito. Even Senator Jingoy was laughing in last night's game because sa mga ng free throws ng kanyang ano. So I needed to point it out. So far, so good. 75% for both. Steals, 6-3 to three for favoring Bacoor. Second chance opportunities, still favoring Bacoor inside point 16-6. to six. Still, Bacoor in... Well, look at the output here of... Uh... Nermal and Cañete. And, and this is impressive, especially with the way these two teams have defended against each other. 12, 12 points and 10, 10 points from Ante Cañete. Oo nga, napakaganda nga ng defense na nakikita natin earlier. Nakita natin ang scoring ng Sambuanga. Very low, 7 I believe, was the highest pointer para sa Sambuanga. Still, JC looking for his uh, attempts to come in. Yeah, Maybe. 0 for 8. In that first half, Judel Fuentes also looking to get into rhythm. Here's Iruta, quickly to Quekete, block, but the putback is there for John Nermal. Just finds himself at the right place at the right time for oh, John Nermal. Well, he always, you know, follows up. He's, he's relentless. He wants to go after every opportunity he can to get that ball in their possession. And he, it's paid off wisely for him. Uh, Jodel Fuentes scores for Zamboanga and, and uh, Aaron Hiruta was warned for faking a foul. That's the first basket as well for Jodel Fuentes. Cañete defended by Santos. Cañete hoists a three, misses. Iguilos gets the offensive rebound, finds Nermal. Nice fake by Nermal and he puts it in. And a foul. It's really tough to get an offensive, re uh, defensive rebound when your hands are down and Aguilos has his hands up. That's textbook. You need to have your body on the man and your hands up to get a rebound. But here we see Jamie Aguilos called for a foul. No, that's Jason Grimaldo. Uh, Grimaldo, I'm sorry. For the foul. This lucky fan of the game is brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming. And John Nermal could not complete the three-point play. Already has 16 points in the contest, and it's a 10-point lead for Bacoor. Well, it's nice to see Gabayni there. Let's see if they're gonna look for him and score more points inside. Jadel Fuentes losing that ball again. Nermal finds Quekate for three. In and out, Magsaksi Cañete. JC Marcelino. Looking for his first basket of the ball game. Wala pa rin. 0 for 9 for JC Marcelino. And what a time for the reigning MVP to struggle. And that's fine, Sedef. You know why? Because he keeps attacking, it'll come. He should not hesitate. He brought it as close as he could. It's not falling for him. I I'm pretty sure, come crucial time, if it needs one basket to be made, he'll be the person to hold that ball despite not being able to score the entire game. Here is Ruta, able to cross half court. Strikers looking to extend the lead here. Higilos, go back, back door to Cuecate, the extra pass, Dermal. This is on the three. Cuecate is down. Cañete gets the rebound and Cuecate got hit in that I think Jamo Aguilas was the one who hit James Cuecate. Then he'll be fine. Tignan natin nangyari dito. Oh, uh, no. Tinamaan sa shoulder ni uh, Judel Fuentes who had every right to protect that basketball by the way. Oo oh, naman, kaya wala namang foul tinawagan. Kala ko yung tuhod ni Jamo ang tumama sa mukha ni James Cuecote. Here's Cuecote. Attacks, pulls out, Cañete, Eruta. 
Now with Nerman, uses the Igilas pick. Balik muna kay Hiruta. Seven seconds in the shot clock for Bakoor. Aaron makes his move. Trying to look for Igilos. That's last touch on a Zamboanga player. Ball will remain with uh, Bakoor. Look at our uh, staff right here. Very hardworking staff. Come on. These are our unsung heroes in the MPBL. They were in Nueva Ecija last night. Um. Oh, Nermal for three. From way out. 19 points in the ball game out of nowhere. Pwede kong ampalpalin yung tira niya eh. Gabayni inside. Wow. What a shot. John Nermal with the second to go. He had no other choice but to launch it wow. to the. Yeah, but he was defended there yep. by Adi Santos. And look at Adi Santos' shoulder drop as soon as John Nermal. Six, the three-pointer, all the way from the strike gym in Bacoor. Yun ang nagagawa ng pinanggit nga ni G earlier, yung prayer, yung, yung ano, yung biblical passage, Proverbs yata yung sinulat ni Coach Alex Sabort. Kita mo, tangay-tangay hanggang dito sa laro. Eh, balikan natin ng yung uh, keys to victory oh. muna. Oh, yeah. Ito, remain unpredictable, a plus factor here for the Bacoor strikers. They have 11 assists. You don't know who's gonna score in every possession. They play unselfish ball. Second, protect your turf. Nope. Six offensive rebounds para sa Sambuanga. Suerte lang ng Bacoor, hindi nakakaput back masyado ang Sambuanga team. On the third, knockout tingin. Yes, pasado sila dyan, tumitingin talaga sila to steal that ball. Plus several taps to prevent a score by Sambuanga. Uh, two, two checks for Bacoor, Sambuanga naman. Well, for Sambuanga, B attitudes. The attitude that I was looking for is to remain strong and determined and play unselfish ball. Even Coach Louis Alas, as you see there, was so upset at one time during the second quarter. And you know, and, and that's why the attitude needed, lalo na when you're trying to win a crucial game, na wala para sa Sambuanga. Second, yeast. Right now, JC Marcelino is not that type of person who's still bringing everybody up. But they need to still find him and rely on him and work with him to pull off a win against Bacoor. Lastly, when is enough enough? Sadly, they do give up. And that's the reason why and daming second chance opportunities. There again, we see a second chance opportunities ang uh, Sambuanga, uh, ang, ang Bacoor. Uh, they got to stop you there, Coach JD, because no that problem. was a triple team. That was a triple team. And Joseph Gavaini somehow finds a, finds a way to score. Well, this guy, yun nga, sinasabi ko, hinahanga ako even before. Great hustle play there by Mahari. John Mahari just, you know, pressuring James Cote, giving Fuentes the opportunity to steal and score. You know, some life here for the Zamboanga family's brand sardines. And here's Craig Cote. Mahari giving him trouble. And... He commits the turnover. Jadel Fuentes with an easy two. And, and the, the ball pressure right there. Just at walang foul. Oh. Ganda. He's backing up. Look at the feet of Mahari. Dalasang backpedaling lang siya. And he's just there, you know, covering the path of uh, James Kwekote. Uh, Bakuor with an eight point lead with uh, six minutes and nine seconds remaining in the third. The strength of the pact is more than the individual. Yun talagang inemphasize ni Coach Louis sa halftime huddle niya. He actually pointed out a few things to his players. The first is assist. Sabi niya naniniwala siya that Zamboanga is one of the best when it comes to assist dito sa liga. Pero ngayon daw kulang talaga sa pasahan. The second thing he said is Bakor is starting to be able to predict how to get offensive rebounds. 
Anisa, dahil kulang yun sa boxing out ang Zamboanga, something he was very passionate about in improving. And the third thing he said is their shooting. Pinaalala niya sa players niya that the very first thing they do in practice every single day are shooting drills, so they just have to take it easy. JC Marcelino, who's usually very vocal, was really quiet during this huddle. He was in the corner, he was just doing breath exercises, and before coming back into the game, Japs Bautista made sure to comfort him and told him that he just has to take those shots easy, it's all gonna be okay. Back to you guys. Thank you so Thank much, you, G. G. And a really good observation there because, you know, honestly, my concern really is where is JC Marcelino at with regards to his you know, mental state right now? Because he is struggling, he has yet to score this ball game, well, and and you have teammates encouraging him, and and Chepre, very important that you get get the support from uh, the rest of the crew. Well, alam mo si JC Marcelino has put it on himself to you know be the leader of this team. He's falling short in the first game, probably falling short again in the second. So the pressure is way up there. Especially when he's playing there, that their team's playing good defense, and John Normal just shoots from anywhere. Dito sa court natin, ano? So, it's very tough. The, 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 the frustration keeps building up, Sadev. But here we see him trying to penetrate once again and it makes an errant pass to Jodel Fuentes. Pekate ahead of the pack, and he scores. And the Bacor City Strikers. Eight points for Pekate. Extend the lead to 15. Krekete has eight points. Nermal oozing confidence at the moment. Shooting over JC Marcelino. And Marcelino commits the turnover on the other end. And Krekete is there for the finish. And Makoor looking to rip the game wide open here in the third quarter. We have a timeout. Brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming. Look at this. Triple team. Oi, quadruple team. Joseph Gabaini somehow finds a way to score that basketball. Yun ang tunay na fall away. Kasi na nahulog na <laughs> Fall away shot. And uh, again, our uh, finance staff right there. And syempre, our uh, MPBL royalty right here. Uh, um, the Jinky Pacquiao and uh, uh, Pacquiao siblings supporting uh, the league founded by their dad, Senator Manny Pacquiao. A uh, you know, wala ka masabi how he's you know, paano niya nataguyo dito ng liga natin, Coach JV, and all the opportunities and the platform for the players and chapter coaches staff and everyone here and i'll go far beyond that the support of the fans who just continue to flock and watch fill up all the venues that we have um wherever we perform and here we see senator mani entering our arena and uh, i'm so glad that you know you know it's an important game when he's here senator mani pacquiao is here and uh, he gets an applause from everyone Siyempre, iba talaga pag nandito siya because everyone is energized, everyone is inspired. And, and you wanna, you know, I, I, iba talaga because we've seen him at his best. You know, especially nung atleta pa siya. Right. At up until now, atleta pa rin naman. Yes. But, you know, the you know, those years when he was fighting for the country uh, was really something that, you know, inspired all of us. And, and he's kept that inspiration until now. Oh, nga. Sa totoo lang, I stopped watching boxing kasi 
other fighters are not ex as exciting Tama ka compared to way, the way he fights. Tama ka dun. Yes. Tama ka dun. Here's Ambuanga trying to claw their way back from a 15-point deficit. Santos out to Fuentes for three. No. Nermal with a strong rebound again. 50 to 35. John Nermal looking very confident. Here's JB Marcelino against Nermal. Misses and they heat check there para kay John. Well, four minutes and 22. Inside they go. Adi Santos. The scores on the, with uh, King Caralipio providing the pass. And here's the pressure from Zamboanga. At na, to, na, napakatamang ginagawa ngayon ni Coach Louie. Pressure, ito ang patapos ng ating last four minutes of third quarter. This is the start of the pressure, not on the fourth. Maybe lower this lead to less than 10. And that gives them striking distance to probably win and pull up an upset against Baco Or. And John Mahari comes in for Adi Santos. So more defensive specialists here for Coach Louis. Pero alam mo sa draft maganda dito hindi sila umahanap ng tres. Etong Zamboanga they're bringing it closer to get a basket on every possession. And if given lang the opportunity to take the three, then they will probably will. Mahari almost with the steal. But they get the shot clock violation and Mahari. Baka masira yung printer natin dyan, ha? Papabayarin ko sa kanya yun kasi mawawalan ako ng stats. <laughs> Our uh, head statistician, uh, John Mangonon. You know, alam, alam mo, yun nga yung kanina, no? We got stopped by that big three-pointer from John Ermal. Pero yung... yung Ibang klase din yung grind dito mga players natin eh. Iba talaga. Very unpredictable and that's what makes the basketball here in MPBL exciting. Marcelino misses. Mahari puts it in for two. Marcelino still trying to, you know, look for his scoring. Mahari, great offensive rebound and a putback. Alam mo yung response ni uh, ng ating uh, FD? I wouldn't know. You know what's his response? Ano yun? Ito? As Aldai hoists the three, misses. Tinanggal lahat ng may liquid sa harap ko. <laughs> Caralipio. Oh! Misses on the push shot. One more opportunity. Wala pa rin. Marky gets the rebound. Falling down right there. Nermal is fouled by uh, JV Marcelino. And you, there you see the impatience and lack of experience. Caralipio could have br brought that ball out and not rush to score. Set it up. You didn't have the shot. And that becomes frustrating. Maganda na yung effort mo, but bring it back out to find a good shot for, an, for a teammate. Under three minutes remaining, 50 to 39. Nermal. Jammer Hamito is in the ballgame for the first time. Nermal, that's an air ball. Yi saves it only to Mahari. Marcelino oh. was looking for JC. That was just a bad pass. These are the things that Zamboanga should avoid. There, there was no advantage whatsoever. Even if your teammate asks for that ball, you have to have the smarts, the understanding of the move. Can you make that pass? They lose the ball, lost opportunity once again. Oh, great steal, almost. Nermal able to recover. There's a foul on JC Marcelino. 12 turnovers for Zamboanga, 8 for Bacoor. It's a uh, foul and uh, two free throws for Ivano Duvise. You know how frustrating it feels. You work so hard and hope to get rewarded. But after you get that opportunity for the expecting, expectant reward, you lose it. Yeah. And time and time again, Zamboanga... They do so many great things on defense, but just can't finish on the offense. I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, Coach Don Dulay of the Makati OK Bet Kings uh, watching right now on our Facebook Live. Coach Don, I hope you're doing well. Wow, well, I had a heart attack almost <laughs> watching that double overtime. 
Oh, matagal na yun, pero tuma nakatatak pa rin sa utak yes. ko yun. Kasi yes. alas 12 na ako nakauwi nun. <laughs> Sorry, Coach Don, for mentioning that. Oh, what a block! JC Marcelino on uh, Jammer Hamito. And maybe, just maybe, yung mga plays na yun will spark itong uh, Zamboanga. And there you see, yung puso ng Zamboanga, they never give up. They never give up. Uh, JC Marcelino giving up around 6-7 inches to Hamito, but he gets the block anyway. Ludovice, bounce pass to Hamito, lost it. That is off a Zamboanga player. See, yeah, off of Mahari. But see, even on the defensive end, they do great stuff. But umabagsak din na umapabor sa Bahoor. Here's Marquis. Backing down Mahari. And a foul on John Mahari. Well, John Mahari actually plays his arm on the right shoulder or below a bit the, the right shoulder of Marquis causing the contact. He should have pulled his arm away. Pangalawa and for John Mahari. That will send Marquis to the line. And Chito Jaime returns to the ball game for Jammer Hamito. Sorry with my reaction. Chito Jaime coming in. Just when I thought, wala nang offensive threat. Chito Jaime comes in. And you know this guy is just going to wait till he gets the ch chance to shoot. And, and Chito Jaime has been vital in the late season surge with Tumbaco. Right. Or, and even in the playoffs. And in fact, no, I, you know, I, I did that interview with Dave Moralde on our social media. And he, he's actually in Dave Moralde's all-time for FPBL 5. At dapat lang. At dapat lang. They spent time together with Muntinlupa, yes. by the way. Because Chito Jaime, quality minutes pinapasok. He'll do his job, gets a chance to shoot, he'll throw up one or two. Mahari could not save that basketball. And Balik sa Bakor, a ball, a chance to um, get their biggest lead of the ball game. Was up at 15 points. Nahari gets back. Aldai dribbles and misses on that teardrop shot. Adi Santos finishes on the other side. And that's what Adi Santos does well. Beat his man down the floor. He's got eight points now. Adi Santos, Aldai in front of a triple team. That's a travel. Oh, great defense there. Just, you know. And he up for the Alvin Aldai. This assist of the game is brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming. And that's JC Marcelino. Nahanap si Adi Santos. He has not scored in this ball game. JC Marcelino. And there's a foul. First, there's a second team foul for uh, Bakuor. JC Marcelino finally getting his first two points. And then, Binora. No. Oh. <laughs> You know, J.C. Marcelino's lip is bleeding, and he's hiding it from the ref. Yeah. Marcelino with a runner, too strong. Adi Santos on the tip-in, wala pa rin. Adi, Alvin Aldai grabs the rebound. Here's Ludovice. Aldai, and trying to attack, lost the ball. J.B. Marcelino to Caralipio for the two points. You know, so the Marquis is yelling at the referee, telling him that J.C.'s lip is bleeding. Kasi ayo sigurado magpasab itong si J.C. Marcelino at tinatago niya, sinisip-sip niya yung dugo. We're seeing that. And look at the defensive pressure from Zamboanga. And that forces another turnover. And it's not easy to break that press by Samwanga because if you make those passes, long passes, cross court, there you see Marquis pointing out to the referee and JC Marcelino turning his face. There you go. Yeah. 
nakita na. <laughs> and that's where you see the experience of a marquee. And, and he will not stop until <laughs> ini makita yon. Ini uh -oh. tayo na magka dead ball. Eh. 18.4 seconds remaining here in the third. It's a 10 point lead for the strikers. We'll be right back. Pacquiao family and uh, Commissioner Kenneth Duremdes, of course, or Senator Manny Pacquiao wife, Jinky. And, uh, syempre, maraming salamat po sa support nyo sa MPBL, our league founder and chairman. It's nice to see him enjoying the games. Yeah, one of the few times na he can be here, make his presence felt. Yep. Uh, dami fans dito sa Batangas na humahanga sa kanya. A quick birthday shout out sa uh, kay Alan Fabella of our system engineering and uh, also to uh, John Clarence Ayen of uh, Mimar Model Model Builders from Sharjah UAE galing sa kay uh, um, Kim uh, Ma Mariano our good friend there in uh, the UAE. So Dami po nanonood sa atin. No? Gusto ko i-check ang ano eh, ang uh, kung ilan ang nanonood ngayon eh. Ang may kasalanan ng mga nanonood ngayon ay yung game kagabi. The two games last night, wow, attracted so much attention. Tinutuloy lang nila sa gabing ito. Lansingo fires a three. Wala, rebound ni Yi. There's time left for Bacoor to score here. And they will. Tansinko just coming into the ball game, cold as ever, and takes the three. And you can see Coach Louis Alas is pointing. Uh, we didn't need that. We were doing fine getting points in the paint. That's true. And instead, they are down 12. Ito yung fall away. Oh, kanina, Joseph Gabaini. And, and, you know, that's how difficult it's been for Zamboanga to get their points. And how about John Armaldo making it look so easy? That's 10 points in the quarter for John Armaldo. An impressive showing for uh, the forward of uh, the Bacor City Strikers. The steal here for Zamboanga. And they go out in transition. And I think this is the only way they can come back into this ball game. Getting steals, getting stops, and uh, going on the fast break. 55 to 43 at the end of three quarters. Presenting our Suzuki muscular and sporty fan of the game, just like the Avenis, do more and achieve more with a muscular and sporty scooter from Suzuki. The Avenis, oras na para magmotor. Ano mga magflex naman kayo? Ay ikaw, ako, ako, ikaw ako. ba? Ikaw, ikaw yung nagflex eh. Yung uh, entourage ni uh, Senator Manny Pacquiao, sure. And uh, I want to go. We're actually almost full here. It is a Batanga City Coliseum. Tama ka dun. But I want to go back to what you pointed out, Sidelf. Maganda yung sinabi mo, Sambuanga, for them to come back into this ball game is to run and gun, uh, prevent Bacoor from setting up the defense. So they have to do fast breaks and try to, you know, uh, limit yung ability of Bacoor to set their defense up. Will this be 
the quarter. Ooh, there's a technical on Marquise. So this is a big development here. It's a fourth foul on Marquis, a, a technical for continuous complaining. So, may free throw agad ang uh, Zamboanga dito. Alam mo, nakakatawang tignan, ano, Marquis reacting that way. But Marquis is never affected by any technical thrown his way. He will just continue to play. And if there's one person who should receive uh, a technical in any any time of uh, the, the ball game, Marky will be the best recipient because for him, in one ear, out the other. And it's taken until this dead ball here in the fourth quarter for JC Marcelino to, to get his first basket of the ball game. Nako binanggit mo, alam mo naman kung paano tayo mag-jinx. Malamang sunod-sunod na pasok na tira niyan. Hopefully for Zamboanga because this could be their last quarter of the season if they don't turn things around. Quarter scoring here, Coach JV. Here we see favoring talaga. Oh, lagi ang bakor, 19 to 15, 19 to 12, 17, 16 going backwards. But at the end, 55, 40, lamang ang dose ang um, bakor. Here's Marcelino. He is fouled by Chito Jaime. And uh, that's another opportunity here for JC to put some points on the board. Talagang matatamaan ang left-hander kasi going with this left, ang defender ay right, magkocross talaga sa muka. In that situation, JC gets it in the face. Tugutugo na nga yung kanyang bibig, baka may tumagdag pa. How's that? If, if, if it starts bleeding once again, Adi Santos actually pointing out to the referee, dumudugo si, ano, dumudugo si JC, but JC tells him, no, 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 don't, wag mo sabihin. Now, that's the heart and uh, the fight shown by the MVP here. He wants to play. He doesn't want to get out because of a few drops of blood. Oh, y yan naman ang uh, ma-admire mo dito sa player of, uh, you know, of the quality of JC Marcelino. Tama ka. Hindi, hindi talaga susuko yan. Especially when his team needs him the most right now. And still going strong, no? He go, he saw that last attempt. He was fouled by Chief Jaime, but he was way up there ready for the finish. And uh, Shepard, first game pala tayo dito. Dalawang laro po dito. Upon review, the last foul on Chito Jaime has upgraded into a sportsman-like foul. Ooh. Some breaks going uh, Bakuor's way here. It's an sportsman-like foul. Oh, that's Sambuanga rather, on Chito Jaime on this drive because it was a hit on the head. I, I think it's the face and the, I think, whack, elbow, el, elbow to the face, but I don't think it was purpose. He was trying to, uh, JC Marcelino, kasi pag nag-airborne yan, hindi mo ma-expect na ganong kataas. JC Marcelino has uh, seen that basket go through the hoop twice. And, that, and that's good enough. Do you see that ball enter the ring? You know that there's a possibility you can do even more. Two points, three rebounds, and four assists for JC. Santos finds Mahari blocked by Quekate. And Santos had a shot there already. Very tentative. Sayang, Nanduna siya. He makes a great move, but passes it to another teammate in a foul on JC Marcelino but you can't really you know count out in, and not point out the great defense by Paco or James Quecote great play for him oh and Magsaksilo the vice and Again, another smart play from the strikers here. But, you know, it's, it's a lot of space right there, and you have to chase the closeout. Yes, you have to, you have to, but not going straight to the shooter. You can go to his right or to his left. Four points for Ludovice. This guy has been quiet 
first game, didn't play all throughout the start of this game. Hardly took a shot. Now he's making his presence felt. So the and Ivan Ludovice, you can call him one of the stabilizers of this Bacoor team. Six points for Ivan Ludovice. Bacoor has that luxury of, of two heavy playmakers in Geruta and Ludovice. JV Marcelino. Umatake trying to sneak in a pass to Santos. The defense is scrambling. JC short. Rebound, Chito Jaime, and that's a jump ball again. Zamboanga will have the basketball. Well, momentum talaga will dictate that Chito Jaime will have to bring that ball down to his waist because he was off balance. Quick hands by the Marcelino brothers to hold on to that ball, forcing a jump ball. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Jidal Fuentes coming into the ball game. Oh! Steal by Veloria. Jidal Fuentes wins the foot race against Cañete. Fuentes goes to Caralipio. And, and there's just a split second. I feel that Zamboanga takes to make decisions on the ball. Oh, very tentative sila. And here's the thing, when they have an open teammate, they make bad passes to the teammate. Kaya napakabagal hindi nakaka shoot agad yung recipient ng pasa. And that's just the story of this ball game for JC Marcelino even underneath against Ivan Ludovice. He still could not get the basket to go. Well, you know, if you are open in a corner and you make a soft pass, it allows your, the defender to recover to you. And that's what Bakoor is doing great. Chris pass, Chris strong passes, ang kailangan ng Zabuanga. But JV, uh, JC Marcelino steals the ball. And Adi Santos with the tip it. Nine points. Ten points now for Adi Santos. Oh, wow. Trecate. Pressure here. And Hiruta able to cross. 58 to 47. There's a foul on Mahari. A lot of the, his fouls have been, you know, touch fouls. And he's right there in front of the man. He's doing everything great, but he's using his arm to, you know, He's just waiting for the referees to call a foul, and the referee's right there in front of him. Sayang ang game ni John Mahari, okay na siya mag-recover. And Troy Ignacio has been called up from the bench by Coach Louis Alas. Quekate for three. Short. Rebound. Napunta kay JC Marcelino. Quickly to Judel Puentes. Santos making the run. And another turnover for Zamboanga. Jadil Fuentes all night has been making these no-look passes, even fooling his teammates. They're not accurate passes, and they're just tough to catch because Adi's momentum was taking himself to the basket, and the pass was behind his head. Oh, nice steal. Steal again here, and a foul. Gabi, masyado malalim na dun si JC Marcelino, but somehow... He finds a way. Yeah, yeah, they've been forcing turnovers, but hindi nila makapitalize ng gusto ko si JV. Hindi nga talaga, and that's where you see the blessings favoring talaga itong Bacoor team. Well, punta muna tayo kay Gianna Llanes. Tandaan nyo ang pedigree nyo ay champion team kayo. So for this last quarter, let's play like a champion. Yun ang sinabi ni Coach Luis, the players niya, refusing to allow them to feel defeated already. Punuenta niya actually na before the game that his biggest coaching inspiration is Indiana basketball coach Bob Knight who passed away two days ago. Coach Bob always reminded Coach Louis that you can win in any situation as long as you take control and not let your opponent dictate the outcome. So before returning to the game after the last huddle, Coach Louis asked his boys, Ako naniniwala pa sa inyo. Kayo naniniwala pa ba sa sarili niyo? Encouraging them to just be patient with themselves. Back to you guys. Wow. Thank you, G. Now, as Gianna made that report, actually, 
Chito Jaime responds with a big three. As expected. To make it a 12-point lead. A Ruta on the drive and kick. And uh, Jaime with his feet set. Knocks down the three. It's nothing but net. Seven points for Chito Jaime. Chito Jaime moved to his left to get that pass. Napakaganda because as soon as the ball was ready to, you know, coming close to his hands, yun, sinabi mo nga, nakaset na yung paa niya. Pero great report by, by uh, Gianna for mentioning yung mga sinasabi ni Coach Louie. Napakahalaga yan. They need confidence building. And exciting yan. Bobby Knight, his, uh, the late Bobby Knight, recently passed away. Napakaganda yun. It, all these players need to do is just avoid making errors that's all it is but the fight is in them seven of 21 from beyond the arc of three of 16 for zambuanga but jc marcelino is uh, again going back to the free throw line there's a challenge as well on that last foul Uh, Jason Marcelino, he's been getting to the free throw line. The fourth quarter, pero kanina, he, he's been just he's been struggling from the perimeter, and, and nice change in approach for him. Um, when you when he's there and he's playing this, you know, playing like this on attack mode, Zamboanga has a chance. He has a chance, talaga. If he started out the game this way and not look for those three point shots. The siguro yung score natin would have been different, much, much closer because nga high percentage na hinahanap niya. And given the time left with 6.58, hindi pa naman kailangan ng tres. All you need to do is score in every possession two baskets. But they also need stops, several stops at that. There's a challenge though from Coach Alex Angeles on that foul play, uh, earlier. JC Marcelino 0 for 10 in this ball game but he does have four points in uh, almost 29 minutes of action i kind of feel a three-point shot coming from ignacio sudo uh, ah. yes Biglang may kumalabit sa akin. So this uh, this place has been a uh, has had his uh, magic for us actually oh nga, so many years yes. being here different coaches different players Nako. different no, same, same players, different teams na lang. Yun mixture of, yeah. And uh, we'll see the verdict here. Kung um, ano ang decision ng ating game officials. Kagandahan dito, nagmarka na sa start all ang mga gulong ng kotse natin. So daming beses na tayong pumunta dito. Upon review, the challenge made by Bacoor Strikers was successful. Oh. Resulting in a jump ball. It's a jump ball. Wow. So, no foul there. Let's watch this. Coach JV, you be the judge here. Ball, ball there. He lost it. He just lost the ball. There was, there was a tap on the ball. That's why JC lost the possession. So, no foul on James Quekete. It leads to a jump ball and bola ngayon ng Bacoor with a 12-point lead with under 7 minutes remaining. Oh. Jabaini falls down. Egilos finds Krakate. Out to Heruta. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Aaron. Get the switch. Heruta down the middle. And he banks it in plus one. Ludovice was doing a great job. Gets pulled out. Aaron Huruta continues the flow that Ludovisa started. So this is our Nexus 88 move of the game. Aaron Huruta and Ignacio just could not keep up. Misses the bonus though and uh, lead is at 14 points for the strikers. Fuentes for three. Yes! Seven points for Jadel Fuentes here in the second half. It ain't over. It ain't over. Heruta gets it to Igilos. Malike Aaron Heruta finds Grecate underneath. And Bakor just making all the right plays here in the final period. 
Well, they're doing the best thing that you can do to break a press is that moving that ball around. Pass after pass. And that, let's watch this. There's a foul on Jodel Fuentes, and this could be an unsportsmanlike like foul as well. They are reviewing this. What a pass there from Heruta. What a pass, you know, attracting the attention of the defense. And James Quirkutate crossing the court, finding himself open for a, a pass. 65 to 52. Zamboanga's reign as South Division Kings under threat. Down by 13, they are in danger of getting swept here by the top seed, the Bacor City Strikers. They're still reviewing if it was an unsportsmanlike foul. And Quekote now up to 10 points in this ball game. Alam mo sa momentum ni Judel Fuentes, he could have just gone up and try to block the shot. Napaka ano, napaka obvious kasing makita because it was just the two of them with James Quekote making the shot and him being under. What a unit this Bacoor team has been in the last four review, games. It wasn't a sportsman -like foul. And it isn't a sportsman-like foul as confirmation. with a technical foul earlier. Judel Fuentes is out of the playing court. Oh, Fuentes is also ejected from the ball game. He had a, a technical earlier. Oh, sayang. He made yes. a three-point shot. He just hit a three. Yes, and then he gets himself out. That's where he need to control talaga yung your your energy and stay composed. Eleven points for James Quekote makes that, and they have ball possession. So they'll fourteen-point lead. For Bakoor, they inbound Heruta and Gilos against Gabaini. Chito Jaime will fire and hit. Chito Jaime, what a contribution from the veteran. Ten points in the ball game. Couple of threes here in the fourth quarter. JB Marcelino answers quickly with the layup. Chito Jaime really tried and tested in this. Dying minutes of every ball game he plays, you can really rely on him to, you know, produce the points needed. Reguta able to release to Jaime Quekate. There's a blocking foul on JV Marcelino. The pressure continues from Sambuanga, but the ball rotation moves as well for Bacoor. That's a big shot right here from Chito Jaime. Look at the backspin on that one. And the step to the shot. Well, he's been... Chito Jaime, the step. And he gets a lot of... Uh, gets his rhythm from that step. And that's why deadly talaga. Taataas mo talaga kamay mo pagka ganun ang kanyang... Bago mag-release pala, yung tira. Hardworking uh, finance staff right here, Ryan and uh, Camille. And Shepard Commissioner's role. 
Senator Manny Pacquiao right there. Pacquiao family, bit-bit ni uh, Senator Manny, Ma'am Jinky. And syempre, mga anak nila, Queenie and uh, Princess. Uh, if you're on YouTube, may mga may vlog tong uh, mga Pacquiao uh, kids. Talaga? Oo. Oh, oh. Naiinggit na ako. Kanina pa sila pinapakita tayo. Hindi tayo pinapakita. Hihintay ko nga eh. Direct <laughs> pakikuha na nga kami. Joke lang. <laughs> Well, nakita ka na sa pre-game eh. Ang, ah, hig oh ang higpit nga ng shirt mo. Oo oh, oh nga, grabe. Large ang binigay sa akin. Hindi mo ba alam? Na... No, may nakalagay na extra large. Pero large pala. Large pala. Alam mo, sa mga ganyang sitwasyon, uunahin mo talaga na sarili mo sa, Tama sa tax. Tama ka <laughs> sa Pero, shirt. like I said nga, two teams here are gonna go through the eye of a needle. So, titiisin ko na tong hirap na to. Right now, Sambuanga, 13 points ba? 13, 13 points for Kwekote. For James Kwekote. JV Marcelino, hang time, scores off the glass it is. Well, JV Marcelino started on the game scoring. Now he's trying to end this game scoring as well to help his team try to win. Yeah, there's a lot of time here. It's a 15-point lead. Nermal is back, Hiruta. Kwekote, there's a steal. JC Marcelino, wala pa rin, over 11. JV puts it back in. 13 points. Ang lamang ng Bacoor, Zamboanga, not giving up. Hiruta wants to go to Igilos against Gabaini. Seven seconds in the shot clock. Ball tapped away. Turnover for Bacoor. JC Marcelino, his first basket of the ball game. So first field goal. Yes, alam mo, kailangan natin bagitin. Ramdam na ramdam natin ngayon ang Z family fighting behind this squad ng Zamboanga. Well, the Z fams, kumbaga. The Z fams. That's uh, JB Marcelino on the putback. And, uh, you know, Bacoor not out of the woods yet. JC Marcelino, he has worked so hard. He has struggled. Pero puso ng uh, player na to, hindi matatawaran. 71 to 60, 441 remaining in the ballgame. Zamboanga on a 6 to nothing run in less than a minute. This was a 17-point lead earlier. Now down to 11. And another turnover forced by the Zamboanga family's brand sardines. Showing a lot of pride here well, in the final stretch of game two. Kanyete wanted to make a pass then decided not to, but he took an extra step. If he released that ball. Four and a half minutes remaining. Zamboanga down by 11. JV Marcelino out to Caralipio. Has time, has space. No. Gabaini spins. Gabaini puts it in. No, sorry. Hindi pumasok ang tira. 
puts it out. No, oh, ino tinulong oh, alalang ita. Puts nilabas. it out. Nilabas. Nilabas eh. Oh, that was almost in actually. He was very forceful here, Coach JV. Good strong move, getting the contract and the put out. Wala. Wala, ay sayang. Pero it's been like that all night. Nandun na ang mga scorers ng, ng Zamboanga. Alam mo si Caralipio had a good shot at the three. I thought he was gonna make it. Gabayni, eight points and eight boards. Zamboanga looking to cut this lead into single digits. They do. Three possession game with 4.17 remaining. Marquee, four fouls back in the ball game, replacing Jemo Igilos. Alam na banggit nga natin, they need stops right now. They're not making stops on Wanga, but they're creating turnovers for Bacoor. Scoring run, eight to nothing here. Cañete, binigay kay Marquee. Yi. Drives baseline, and don't see Gabayni. Four seconds remaining, so shot clock. Well, Zamboanga needs to remain vigilant in their defense with four seconds to go. No fouls, no unnecessary pushing. All they need to do is just play this last four seconds off so they get, to, so they get that ball back. Itong Zamboanga. Under four minutes remaining. Heruta. To inbound, they go to Krekate. Krekate for three. No good. Rebound, JD Marcelino. Dinagay sa kanyang kambal, JC Marcelino. JC picks up his dribble. JB for three. Yes! And he's been hitting that all night, JB Marcelino. 14 points for JD Marcelino and Zamboanga. Is back in the thick of the fight, 71 to 65. What a run here for Zamboanga. 11 to nothing run in the last two and a half minutes. Nermal trying to answer. What up? Rebound, JC Marcelino. And the spirit of the Z fam continues to make itself present. JV drives, JV misses, Nermal with the rebound. Binigake Marky and there's a foul. And this should be, this is a neutral venue by the way. Yes. But hindi mo talaga madedenay sa mga fans dito ang kanilang saya sa isang magandang laro. Natutuwa ka dito mo makikita ang basketball mentality ng kahit saan tayo pumunta, tuwan-tuwa silang manood ng good, great basketball game. Well, you, you, you gotta appreciate the effort of both teams. You know, the way Makor with their excellent basketball with the, the first three quarters and, you know, first five minutes ng fourth and the way Sambuanga has fought through their struggles in this ball game. Oh, nga alam mo yung nag yung adjustments na ginagawa ng Bacoor trying to beat the pressure of Sambuanga. Very difficult for them to beat it, but they're slowly yan. Eto nakakuha na nga ng punto si Marquis. Slowly getting extra points, but they've given up so much kaya nakalapit na itong Sambuanga. 73 to 65. JV Marcelino to Caralipio for three. No good. That is off James Krekate. Caralipio feeling it. That's his second attempt. But he's pulling the shot. He's not really stepping into it. And that's why the, the shot isn't going in. Gabaini inside. That ball tapped away. He gets it. Joseph Gabaini draws the foul and he'll go to the line. Wow, a man possessed Gabaini. You should see the replay. He throws it up, goes after it, tries to put it back up, just bulldozing his way in. Reminds me of you, Sadelp, in your playing days. Me? <laughs> Why me? Makita mo, tignan mo yan. Banga gets it. No foul. He brings it back up. Gets the foul. 
Yung intensity lang si Del. Oo, oh, kinakabahan ako eh. Yeah. Yung intensity, but Gabayni misses his first! 73 to 65, two and a half minutes remaining. Alam mo kanina, wala masyadong nagsisir para sa Sambuanga. Ngayon, ang dami. Buong, buong kolisiyong. Oo oh, nga. Maliban dun sa banda na dala ng Bacoor. Yes, of course. 73 to 66. The good news para dito sa Bacoor, uh, for, for Sambuanga, is that they've somehow fought their way back and they've given themselves a chance here. Nermal will wait. Eight seconds to work with. That's a foul on Joseph Gabaini. Both teams over the limit. And that will mean two free throws for John Nerman. Well, Gabaini sh should have just stepped back to, you know, backpedal to the basket rather than bumping into John Nerman. He just causes a lot of problems sa depensa mo. Kabilang team, John Nerman. Very uh, composed at the line. At the moment, makita mo na yung evolution nitong Bacoor strike, Strikers team, no? Para silang chameleon, they adjust to the situation. They're doing everything well. Change color, change tactic, change team. Aggressive on bo both sides. That's their versatility on yes. full display. Oo nga, totally different identity every possession. Nermal, pinapahirapan. An off-band and shot won't work. Look at JB Marcelino challenging Jemo Igilos. And uh, Ruta requesting for a review on this out of bounds call. I don't think the refs made a mistake on that call. Jemo really had the last touch. Even looked like it from her angle. And that's court formation. 74 to 66. And uh, just for his sheer effort there, Coach JV. Uh, JV, <laughs> Sambuanga dapat na may bola because of the effort of JV Marcelino. Oh, naman. Ilan talon yung ginawa niya. Caralipio. Dinigay kay JV Marcelino. Three-pointer oh. off. Nermal with a big rebound. Lost the handle as Lasco was right there. I don't know if instructions were given. Every time a Bacoor striker player grabs the ball on the rebound, I think everybody's instructed to grab the ball as well para may jump ball. But Lasco doing the same thing as the Marcelino brothers do. They get the ball back. And they will review. Corner. They've uh, gotten that one right. 74 to 66. And time not on the side of Zamboanga. Minute and 40 remaining. So, Duff, regardless of what happens in this first game, wow, I'm glad to be here with you covering this exciting ball game. Same here, Coach JV. Marcelino for three. No. Caralipio. Put back is good. Six point game, minute and 35 remaining. Eight points for King Caralipio. Still a lot of time. Oh! Wow. Ito ang experience. See that? If Caralipio tapped that ball to Haruta, who was outside, could have been their ball. But also, it was almost a five second violation yes. on Haruta as well. Tama ka rin dun. He able to receive. Gets it to Hiruta. Oh. Beats two players and they go to Quekete. Continue to pressure, continue to pressure. No foul, you're in penalty. Avoid and let's see what happens. Watch how Bakoor adjusts. They go down low. Egilos, the hook. No. Nermal with a rebound. That's a big one. Eight rebounds for John Nermal. Hiruta, five seconds in the shot clock. Hey, Ruta, teardrop, wala. Caralipio with a rebound, quickly. To Marcelino, JC, to Lasco. JV Marcelino for three. No. 
JC with a rebound short. JV grabs the offensive rebound and they're all piling up. Everyone wants that basketball. Napakahalaga talaga ng ball lang yan. Titignan natin. And if it's a jump ball, it will be Zamboanga and will have possession. Nakita mo pa yun sa tindi ng action na nangyari? <laughs> wow. <laughs> And for that sequence alone, my trip here to Batangas was worth it. Was worth it. Worth Extremely it. worth it. And, and look at this. Just pure hard Alam mo yung laro, uh, work. Yung, yung child's game na may mga color na inaabot mo? <laughs> yan ba yun? Yeah, it looks like it. Diba? Look at them just grabbing and just reaching out. and Wow, Lim. Entwined. You know, in, 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 it, that is something, your desire and determination, that's, that's something else right here. They, both teams don't fall short of our expectations of a great basketball game. They will fight to death until the end. 11 seconds, the shot clock on Zamboanga. They need a basket. Marcelino drives and scores. Four point. Ang lamang ng Bakor. We have a timeout here for the strikers. And look at this quick hit from Zamboanga. JC Marcelino leaving Nermal in the dust. Still a chance for Zamboanga. All they need to do is prevent an inbound pass by Bakor and get that ball back. But pero buong game sa gap nakita natin hirap na hirap makashoot itong uh, uh, Sambuanga team. This is a 16 to 3 run for Sambuanga. They were down 71 to 54, and uh, that's the stat right there. They have outscored Bakor in the last two and a half minutes. No, actually, the last five minutes of this ball game. Because it was uh, around that, that, that time, uh, lumamang sila ng uh, uh, 15 puntos, but uh, 17 points rather. But here we are, the route to inbound. Pero kulang na kulang para sa viewers natin, ma 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 ramdaman nila yung pressure na ginagawa ng Sambuanga that caused that 16 to 3 run, and that's where the color of the game is and the excitement because of the pressure implemented by Sambuanga on this in this last quarter. Iruta, nahanap si Nermal. There's a double team. And a foul. Whistled. On Damian Lasco and Coach Louis comes over and explains the call to him. I think the, uh, the coach Louis entered the court and I don't think they're allowed to do that. <laughs> and, but they, they do challenge this one. Alam mo, I need to point out 
Coach Louie wants to win. His heart is there. Brought him inside the court. I, I feel for him. This, his, his fighters, yung sinabi nga niya, dati kayong champion, fight, fight till the end. And they're showing this right now. Para sa kanilang Z fam. Well, our officiating crew trying to get a good look at this. It is an important call. But if, for example, no foul was called, if it, kung panalo nga ang challenge ni Coach Louie, the ball possession still remains wala lang free throw. All right. Remains with Baco or ang bola, no free throw dahil penalty dapat. Thirty-one seconds remaining, and uh, Zamboanga was down seventeen points in uh, with five and a half minutes remaining in this ball game. Um, uh, thirty-one seconds. Alam mo ang dami pang pwedeng gawin sa thirty-one seconds. Ang dami. And the uh, two teams have time to uh, talk things over <laughs> with this review on the coach's challenge by uh, Lambuangas Dewey Alas. And here he is talking to JC Marcelino, the reigning MVP who was scoreless for three quarters and now has eight points in the ball game. He has uh, helped instigate this comeback that is still four points short. Because the score is four up and Baco Or, if Sambuanga gets a steal, I say go for the two-point, the layup, rather than the three-point shot. Because there's still enough time. They if they steal and run quickly, they still have, have the 20, the eight, challenge made 24 seconds. was unsuccessful. Foul on number nine. Successful challenge, so John Neymar. third foul. So they, will they lose a time off? So this was the call. So yes, that was their last time out lost because of that unsuccessful challenge. Ah, yun. That's a foul. The long best is not a man. Yeah, but I thought it was on Marcelino, not Lasco. John, John Nermal. Pressure pack, free throws here. I don't think he knows the word. 24 points. 24 points. This guy doesn't know. His definition of pressure means, well, cup of coffee, sitting, relaxing, and watching TV. Two for two, John Nermal. 76 to 70. And Zamboanga overcome. This deficit to keep their season alive here. JD Marcelino. Canalipio. JC for three. No. The tap is off Aaron Heruta. The ball will stay with Zamboanga, but only 15 seconds remaining in the ball game. Still down by six. And here we see Marky giving instructions to his teammates. Never ending leadership by Marky telling everybody who's supposed to guard who, who's supposed to switch, giving instructions every single time. What leadership by Marky. JD Marcelino to inbound. JC. They go down low. Adi Santos gets the two points. Lead is down to four. Ten seconds remaining. Shot clock is off. Both teams in the penalty. No timeouts left. Marky tries to hold on to this basketball. And Aaron Hiruta finds Krekate for the insurance basket. 15 points for James Krekate. And Bako Orr is on its way 
to the South Division Finals for the first time in the history of their franchise. This assist of the game is brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming. Hey, Ruta to Quekete to pick the final score. And an outstanding performance by Bakuor. They built enough cushion to weather the storm in the end, Coach JV. Tama ka dun, but the cushion was added by Chito Jaime's clutch three-point shots. Alam mo, okay na, ganda na nang ginagawa. Great defense na ng Sambuanga. Suddenly, Chito Jaime comes alive, added heartbreak there for the Sambuanga team. But everybody else really contributed. John Nirmal, uh, James Cuecote, Aaron Heruta, what a game by everybody. Yun nga, nakakatakot silang kalabanin ha, because they are like a chameleon. They adjust, they change identity, they change form, and become what they need to be to play and win against the opposing team, Sadel. The Zamboanga can hold their head high with that fight that they've shown. Dito, especially in the fourth quarter, down by 17, it looked like they were gone, but they kept things interesting here. And uh, but in the end, the strikers were just too much. Our Nexus 88 player of the game, no other than John Nermal. Strong start and really put the finishing touches here. Sa panalo ng Bacoor City strikers. What a star he has been for the Bacoor City Strikers. Tama ka dun sa Dolph. Hindi ako impressed sa outside shooting niya. Impressed ako even more because he would get second chance opportunities for his team. He would rebound and block shots. And those clutch free throws in the end as well. Sealing the deal for the Bacoor City Strikers who are now bound for the South Division Finals for the first time in the history of their franchise. Let's go to Gianna Llanes. Congratulations to the Bacoor City Strikers and our best player of the game, John Nermal. John, pinag-usapan ng ating panel, especially those last free throws, kitang-kita, na parang hindi ka pressured. So, paano mo dadalhin itong kumpiyansa to sa susunod na round? Ayun uh, nga, yung kumpiyansa namin, dadalhin namin sa next round. Ayun, uh, buo-buo-buo yung loob namin. Bola. Kasi lahat naman kami nagtitiwala sa SSS na, na binibigay kami ng kumpiyansa ng mga coach, management, lalo na yung mga inspirasyon namin sa buhay. And during the first game, game one, you had more than 20 points. This game, you had 25 points. Paano mo naman sisiguraduhin na consistent ka sa shooting mo sa next round? Uh, kung ano man napakita ko ngayon, o kung, 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 kung ano, natrabawin ko pa sa next round, uh, kung ano pa yung mga dapat namin gawin, adjust pa namin. And kayo nga ang unang ko pa na nakapasok sa South Division Finals. I'll ask you lang sa opinion mo, sino ang gusto mo makatapat sa South Division Finals, Jensen o Batangas? Uh, hindi natin masasabi kung ano yung mga... Sino man nanalo kasi, lahat, lahat ng team malalakas. Uh, lahat yung mga na-elevate na, na malakas pa rin yun. So sino na lang yung magagandang mag-execute, yun na lang mananalo. And I'm sure a lot of Bacaor fans are very proud of you guys. Pasalamat mo naman sila. Uh, ano na nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon na binigay sa amin yung panalo. Uh, sa boss namin, kay Mayor Strike Rivilla, kay Ma'am Shea Cabal Rivilla, boss Dennis, kay Ma'am Liza, uh, sa boss ko kay boss JSY, uh, pamili ko sa Negros, Ma'am at Papa ko, uh, sa Barangay Talamay, Kabangala City, sa wife ko na very supportive sa anak ko. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you sa lahat ng mga taga-Bakor, kay Boss Danny Spiritu, uh, kay, kay Congressman Chiding Alvarez, kay Mayor Benji Miranda, sa Kapakala, at Vice Mayor Saiko. Sa, sa lahat sa lahat ng mga taga-suporta ng taga-Bakor, maraming maraming salamat. Congratulations once again to our best player of the game, brought to us by Nexus 88 Gaming. Back to you, Sadalf and JV. Thank you so much, thank Diana. You, and, uh, you know, John Nermal plays for Bakor, but he just did not forget his hometown, where he's coming from, and uh, really just proud of uh, what he's achieved here. And he will formalize Bako Or's entry to the next round. They are in the South Division Finals. The number one seed, Bako Or City Strikers, are going to face the winner of uh, the series between Batangas and uh, Jensan in the next round. But again, Three down, one to go. Oh, nga. At napaka exciting. Uh, I don't think the people here watching have the energy to cheer the next game. <laughs> they should all be have uh, a glass of some soft drink with full of sugar to wake themselves up. Kita mo, mukhang pagod na mga tao sa kaka-cheer. <laughs> what a great game. What today. a great game. Honestly, this was uh, uh, a mighty fight galing sa Zamboanga. 
family's grand sardines, but in the end, the Bacor City Strikers just proving too much, especially John Ermal, 25 points, including those big 10 points in the third quarter, kung saan uh, talagang uh, lumamang ang Bacoor. There was a comeback in the fourth that eventually and ultimately fell short for Zamboanga, and their reign as uh, South Division champions have come to an end here. Oh, nga. Sad, no? That, uh, mas maraming puntos lang ang Bacoor, pero proud na proud ako sa laro ng Sambuanga Family Sardines. And everybody who watched this should be proud. At ganun talaga, never give up, never say die, always fight till the end. Uh, Chito Jaime also had a couple of three-pointers to contribute to the cause of uh, Bacoor. And the, the Marcelino Twins, you know, sila yung uh, nanguna dun sa comeback bit ng uh, Zamboanga, but yung uh, dulo talaga no, the, the strikers staying composed when it mattered most and they get the two to nothing sweep in the south division semifinals let's go to our pre uh, post game press con featuring our the winning coach and uh, the best player good evening everyone congratulations coach and coach alex angeles and to our best player general uh, Coach, congrats for advancing to the South Division Finals. Coach, it's your first time. So, what is your advice to the team na nakailangan tapusin na yung series na to? Well, una, pasalamat muna tayo kami sa ating poong may kapal kasi kung hindi dahil sa kanya, hindi namin makukuha yung panalo. And then, dun sa sinasabi mo, uh, kasi namumuhunan lang naman kami sa depensa lagi. Dun lang, kumbaga, pinaka-priority ng team. To follow na lang yung offense namin kung, kung sino yung mainit, doon lang kami pumupunta. So, kumbaga, sa finals, different uh, kalaban, okay, different story na naman. So, back to ano kami, drawing board, practice muna ulit, i-scoutin namin yung kalaban, so tignan namin kung saan yung advantage and disadvantage. So, pag-aaralan muna namin yung play-by-play -play ng kalaban pag nagkataon. Okay, uh... Speaking of mainit, uh, Coach, si John Normal laging mainit sa ngayong series na to. Uh, John, napansin namin lalong patas ng patas yung level ng laro mo. So, sino yung motivation mo or ano yung motivation mo to these playoffs? Uh, yun nga, motivation ko. Siguro yung, yung mga sa paligid ko, yung sumusuporta sa akin, lalo na sa Panginoon na binibigyan ako ng lakas. Uh, presence of mind sa paglalaro. Tsaka yun, gusto din namin ma-experience yung paano yung feeling na magpapasok ka sa finals. Angat ka sa ligan na to. So, yun, motivation namin araw-araw yung championship na yung goal namin. Coach, if you want, if you're the one to choose sino yung kala, gusto niyo makalaban, <laughs> Batangas or Jensen? Ah, ang hirap naman nung tanong. Pero, if it's his will, kung sino yung bigay ng Panginoon, eh, dun lang naman kami. Kasi, lahat naman kami naniniwala na kung time mo, time mo. So, dun sa part na yun, hindi ko masagot eh. Basta magdidepende lang kami kung ano yung binibigay sa amin ni Daddy God. Kaya bahala na kung sino man. Pero we make sure magpe-prepare kami ng maayos, ng hard, para mabigyan ulit natin ng magandang laban ng MPBL. Yun lang po. 